Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the occupational upgrade. It's been a while since we've played Oxygen Not Included, and uh, during one of the last streams it was uh, suggested maybe I jump on in again, so let's go ahead and do that right now, shall we? Standard game. I don't think we want to change any of the settings here. At least not right now. At least that's my guess on things. We don't need to, so we won't. And we'll just jump on in and wait for this to load. Alright, let's see here. The Underground Fortress. No, no, no. We're gonna call this Gaming by Gaslight's Dreamland. Because it's like totally gonna be like the best, the best colony you've ever seen, probably, maybe. Kindness, huh? Alright, so you're like a medically person. That's not bad. No, I remember strength was something that you couldn't actually improve in previous builds. I'm not sure if that's still the case or not. So... We might want to fiddle around with that. We actually, you know what, you're not bad, but I kind of want someone with good construction when we start. So let's, uh, let's fiddle around with this until we get something we like and, all right, that's actually probably good enough. I mean, you're irritable bowel, that's okay. You're interested in digging and cooking. You like building, researching, and operating. You're a loud sleeper, so we'll want to make sure we put a bit more of a gap with you. Got mole hands, you're a mouth breather, you are a quick learner. Alright, so everything's overall pretty good. Probably, maybe. Alright, this... Right off the bat. Let's see, your crew is awoken, stranded inside a distant asteroid. Oddly, they can't recall how they got there. They need to survive to find answers. Obviously, there's some kind of lab experiment that went horribly, horribly wrong. Alright, so we've got some kind of biome of slime. Uh, actually, that's not slime. That's coal. There's algae. Coal's new. All right, so algae is good. We want algae, so we're probably gonna wanna dig in this direction. I also notice there is some water hanging around, so we're probably gonna wanna work on eventually doing, ooh, fertilizer, doing something with that. All right, there's, ooh, natural gas up here. That means there's gotta be a natural gas geyser somewhere, doesn't there? So we'll want to dig up here as well, but we'll want to kind of be careful about it so as to not just, like, spew a bunch of natural gas into the colony. Alright, so... How do I want to do this right off the bat? I don't really want to let a bunch of CO2 into our colony, so let's... We'll start by digging into the vacuum. That can't possibly go wrong in any way whatsoever, so let's make it happen, shall we? Alright, we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll just, we'll dig about that far, and like that, you know, just so it's even. And then we'll start digging down. Yeah, there's oxygen down here. All right, so that's good. We also, let's see here, how do I want to set this up? That's a good question. Hmm. I mean, let's see, this is like, what, three tiles wide? One, two, three, four, it's four tiles wide, I had that wrong, okay. So eventually I'm going to get rid of this, we'll have like a ladder here, a ladder here, and this will be like our central hallway, I think. So we'll start by deconstructing that. What is this? What are you fleeing from? Combat? Oh. Oh, hello there, little guy. Um. Okay, you're kind of a... You're kind of evil and mean, so we're going to get rid of you, because, you know, we don't want evil and mean people around this place. This is our, like, super home. Alright, so we are gonna, like, we're gonna dig up a little bit. That's probably a safe height to dig to. Probably. And then, of course, we'll want to dig down into this. Right, that's never a thing. It feels like the right play, though, I know what you might be thinking. Gaslight, you should, like, totally be focused on, like, getting up some basic beds and stuff so your poor people can, like, sleep and not be, you know, sad and miserable about life. That's probably a good idea. I'm glad you mentioned it. Uh... Cancel, yes. We don't need that. Though maybe I will double thick the floors. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It might be. As we release a bunch of oxygen in here. That surely... Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll dump... Maybe a couple of oxidizers in here. I mean, we don't really have any algae as of yet. That's gonna have to come later. But overall, I think we've got a, a reasonable thing going here. We'll set up some temporary cots. 
There we go. Make sure they're all like two squares apart because I believe that's how far you need to be in order to make sure that uh, loud, sleepy people don't cause too many problems. And I'm not immediately excited about like filling this in, so we'll kind of do this, this, because we do want to beautify the place up, don't we? So we'll do a little bit of that. And yeah, eventually, eventually everything will come together, probably, maybe. Oh wait, look at this. Oh, it's a puffed. Now, what does it puffs do again? They release polluted oxygen, don't they? The non-aggressive creatures. Ah, they excrete lumps of slime. They eat polluted oxygen and excrete slime. Slime is toxic for us, isn't it? Let's have a look at the old germ overlay. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so all this slime is bad for business, so we're gonna want to create like some kind of like super airlock over here in order to minimize death and despair. What is this? Obsidian, huh? Sure, I'm familiar with obsidian, but maybe I'm not. All right, we'll do something like this. It'll be kind of low priority, though. Tiles should be much higher pri- Oh, everything's eight priority, I guess. Because that's the way I said it. And... Yeah, then something like this. I'll leave this open, because I might want to Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Cancel all of this. We want this to be a bit bigger. Because since we can, like, clean people off, we might want to leave some room. So that... Yeah, we've got this, like, wash basin. But we might want to, like, stick this in here, like so. Which we will do right now. Then we uh, stick in another pneumatic door. Like I said, I'll leave that for the time being. Make sure we dig it out. There we go. And as far as priorities are concerned, I want this to be top priority, just to seal this in. Actually, I guess I don't really need to quite so much, but seeing as no one's going to be breathing in this, it's not going to be too big a deal anyway. So it's all fine, probably. I like to believe that I know what I'm doing, but I totally don't know what I'm doing. Such is the nature of life, really. I mean, does anyone really- oh, right. There's no power for this, so obviously we're not producing any oxygen. Good job, Gaslight. Glad I caught that as quickly as I did, but, you know, still. I totally could have caught that a lot faster and more efficiently, but... You know, it wouldn't be a Gaming by Gaslight program if I was doing stuff, like, super optimally. Or even, you know, in a fashion that resembled intelligent. We should probably do something about this. Oh good, we've actually almost dug our way in here. How is it down here, anyway? Any, uh... Looks like there's no germs or bad stuff, so that's that's a plus. And I guess we have to do something about all this at some point. We also need to get this water working for us, don't we? So I want to do that. I guess the the easiest way might be to just dig in here and then like break into this, create some kind of reservoir. Because we don't have access to pumping or anything, because we haven't actually started on research yet, so we don't get any of that. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Someone- Oh my god, someone made a mess because I do not have toilets yet. Good- good thinking, Gaslight. I mean, who needs a toilet anyway, right? Stick that over there. Good job. Ew, gross. Let's, uh, let's set a, a max priority mopping for down here, just in case. Where did all your waste go? Did it just vanish as it fell? Oh no, it's just down here. Yeah. Someone mop that up. Oh, ew, gross. Ugh. Ugh. Urine. Exactly what we wanted. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we're getting down there. That's probably the important thing. Butter. Don't want that. Let's, uh, let's uproot this. Killing all the plants, no doubt, by... What do these guys do, exactly? Shine bugs emit a soft light in hopes of attracting more of their kind for company. Aw. And it also increases the decor, so that's probably a major plus. I had to guess, anyway. Also, this should be... Like, yeah. You know what? We'll make it a top priority. We'll figure out jobs and stuff like that later, but I figure at this stage of development... Can you guys get back up? You cannot, because there is not a ladder and you don't know how to jump because you don't... Because you all skip, like, upper body strength day or something. Yeah, go ahead and mop that up, please. Ah, oh, I don't want to bottle it. Why are you bottling... Bottling the water? That's gross. Don't do that. 
A lot of CO2 down here as well. Is there a reason you're not doing your job? I'd like it if you'd do your job. Do you have... Oh! They don't have a way back up. Of course they don't. Harold, are you gonna do your job? No, you're just idle. You have no job. You have... You popped your eardrums. How the heck did that happen? Exposed to an overpressurized area that popped their ear... Oh! That's interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it is apparently a thing, so now I know, and knowing is half the battle. Probably. You know, it also just occurred to me, when we inevitably break in here, we're gonna have to deal with all this polluted water. Maybe I should have built an upper area over here. But I'm a little bit concerned about overexpanding too quickly, to be honest with you. But then again... Really? That's it? You just... Oh, it's because the battery's full. Duh. Don't need that. Oh, we also need more resources. That's... That's probably pretty important too, isn't it? Alright, we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll break all that. We'll... Ah, oh, gross. There's all these... Hatch... Those are hatches, aren't they? What are you... What are you little guys called? Yes, you're a hatch. Good. I still remember the names. No one is mopping up this gross... Oh, it's because it's unreachable. Never kind of thank you, Captain Obvious kind of moment. I should have known that, but I didn't because I am an idiot. Okay, though. We'll get there. Maybe. Someday we'll get there. For sure. Alright, we'll also, uh, we'll clear that out. I mean, if we keep digging down... I like the music in this game, by the way. Just want to mention that. How peaceful, isn't it? Just... You know, we're just sitting here, us and our duplicates, just hanging about, doing stuff. Gonna make this a lower priority job right here. Yeah, as we, uh, we're gonna need algae until we get on top of other stuff. We totally will at some point. Maybe. It, ah, eh, we're definitely gonna get on top of stuff eventually. Actually, you know what? Let's cancel all of this. Okay, we're not producing enough. You guys are idle. Why are you idle? Let's pause the game for a second and take a look at the old job board, shall we? I mean, everyone is set to be able to do every job, but not everyone is actually doing their jobs. That's interesting. Very interesting to me. Why do you feel the need to not do your job? Especially when I would like you to actually do your job. Oh well. You know, we'll we'll learn the answers to these questions by the by. Might as well sweep up all this junk while we're at it. Don't want things rotting away now, do we? Oh, do I have to actually order you to dig all this out before you'll actually build it? Apparently the answer is yes. Learn something new every day. Also, apparently, the weight of everything on top is... Cracking that a little bit. Oh, 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 what was that? You serious people? How did you even get up there? Oh my god. Don't you just love these little guys? They are so, so incompetent. No, 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 don't. My god. Turn your back on them for a second and... They're apparently also freezing to death in their own urine. That's actually really gross. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. This stuff is releasing polluted oxygen. I don't want that. Stop. Stop it at once. All right. It's gonna take 10,000 years to clean this up. So I can't, I can't just get rid of this, huh? I mean, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Like, it's not like this stuff exists in a vacuum. But, uh, you know, a little, a little less... Oh wait, that's a, ve a ration box, not just a general storage box. No wonder we're not getting anything out of it. Alright, what do we want for a new person here? A digger and a learner? A digger and a creative person? I mean, I don't know if I like the idea of people who are gonna be sucking up more oxygen. Let's reject everyone for now. I think we've got a, a solid enough, like, starting base here. I should also probably build another toilet, shouldn't I? That would be a good idea. Make sure our poor, poor, desperate dupes don't end up getting stuck. Well, more or less. Oh dear. 
water oxygen production is not terrible. But it's not, it's not really great either, is it? So I guess we, we do need to work on that. All right, I'm gonna build our floor all the way over here. Make sure we get a priority sweeping in here. Try to, you know, clear everything up here. I don't want all this to fall down here because then I'm gonna have to, you know, jump through a couple of hoops in order to figure things out. Like I don't like, Oh, right, right, right. I need to actually build a box. That's that's where my whole problem is. We don't have any storage thingamabobs here. So let's let's build two of them. That'll be fine, probably. Ah, shucks. It's actually free on this side. Kind of a weird, uneven thing, isn't it? But then again, it doesn't seem to be bothering Harold here so much. So that's good. All right, so yeah. Eventually, we'll make proper rooms for everybody. I mean, everyone deserves a proper room, don't they? I think so. I mean, I'd want a proper room if I were in this situation. Okay, good. So, we're not producing any more toxic stuff by the looks of it. That's good. And, let's see, yeah, disinfect at... Let's say... Well, I guess what it was was probably okay. Oh, God. You know, you guys are capable of fighting back, right? There you go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Let God sort. Of no, not not you. Don't don't fight him. Oh, of course, Shinebug. He was just living his life. Oh, there's also not a ladder down here anymore. Right. I get on top of that. Um. Yeah, we have materials to build this stuff, don't we? There we go. I feel bad for killing the Shinebug though. That was that was less good. Why, why are you just sitting here, man? Do I actually have no jobs queued up? Oh, derp. Yeah, put everything in there. There we go. Now we'll start moving stuff around and life will be good again. Probably, maybe. I mean, a clean house is a happy house. And I generally like to think that we run a clean house here. I mean, it's actually a pretty, pretty terribly messy house. Oh, I need an apprentice miner. Oh, okay. So we do need to get the job board thingamajig going up as soon as possible then. Alright, I kinda... I figured this was something I'd be able to ignore for a while, but I guess we... I guess we just can't, because life would be too easy if we could. So here we are. Go. Alright, let's get all that built up, and our colony... Oh, look at that! A little timey indicator-y thingy, letting us know we can move in. That's good. I like that. Also, make sure you sweep all this stuff up. Come on, man. Need to get our work done here at some point. So far, things are going well in gaming by Gaslight's Dreamland. It's proving to be very dreamlike and land landish. Yeah, we'll uh, do a little of that. A little of this. You know what I should do is just build a proper watery tank thing and aquifer, I think is what you would call it, probably. Right. So, uh, that germ actually, germs look like they're going down overall, which is pretty neat. How is stuff over here anyway? Oh yeah, that's a lot of germs. We're probably going to want to have an airlock on this side as well. Which, uh, thinking of it. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll set that up later. For now, let's just work on making sure we've got everything more or less set up here. But and of course, my classic problem, whenever everything is set to 9, nothing ends up actually getting done. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, switch all the sweeping jobs to a priority seven. You know, just to get, oh good, this is done. All right, so let's look at jobs. Let's see, who is our best minor person? That would be Harold. He's not great at it, but he's not terrible either. And, okay, so Devin really likes it, but Lyra is our best architect, so we might want you to do that. And Harold, or Devin's the only one without a, an assigned job, so we might want him to do something with that. Now, what do we want first for research? Farming? That doesn't sound too immediately important to us. Maybe plumbing, that way we can start getting uh, pumping and stuff going, so we'll, that, that'll be our first, first bit of research. And actually, you know what, in retrospect, 
Let's stop for a second. Just kind of see what we've got available to us. So we got our filters. We've got our air systems. Also not bad. We have liquid plumbing, which gives us some more interest. Ooh. Automation technology, you say. I like that. We've also got some decontamination stuff or scrubber and deodorizer. Not bad. Liquid tuning, thermal aqua... Thermo aqu aqua turn tuner. Sorry. Couldn't get that through my... Through my tongue. We've got temperature modulation, pressure management. That's also probably pretty good. Why is a manual airlock in pressure management and the mechanized one in decontamination? I have to assume there is, like, something more in that. But, we'll get to that eventually. Ooh, a fire pool. Those are fun. Those are really fun. Ah, transit tubes. This is what we're going to want to get to as soon as possible, probably, maybe. Get all Futurama in here. But anyway, yeah, we've got, so we've got that. Research will, I'll set that as a, as a priority eight. All right, so everyone's getting their job hats. But poor Devin, what is Devin actually, like, what is he best at? Oh, good, research assistant. There you go, Devin. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Because as, to my understanding, people can have only one job at once, so... Yeah, we'll need one person for each job, if we want to, like, ultra-super-specialize everything. Alright. Things are coming together, I like it. They're not perfect yet, but, you know, we've got something that's actually, you know, it resembles a functional environment, so... Not a terrible start for us, all things considered. What's all this? Ooh, a bunch of hydrogen. And chlorine gas and igneous rock. What is this? Slime lung? Why the heck is there slime lung in rock? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it probably does from a certain point of view, but not my point of view. I wonder, should I just dig in and let the water drop down here? Hmm. Because, I mean, I'm going to have to eventually get into some of these places. Oh, look, there's our natural gas geyser right there. Okay, so I figure the way we're going to want to do this is we're going to want to probably start di or stop digging upwards around this point, and we're going to want to go around. Building lacks resources, huh? And what does it need? It needs water. That makes sense, so I guess we're going to have to tap into the water supply here at some point. Let's see here. What? How, how many tiles up are we? One, two, three, and four. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, and then that's where the floor goes. Holy dokely. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll build a floor like this. That'll be nine priority. And we will dig at eight priority in the hopes of clearing, clearing all this out. And then eventually, well, I guess I'm going to need a hole or something so we can, like, suck out water here. So, I'll cancel the build right here. We'll leave a bit of flooring right there. We'll suck up the water. We'll do stuff like that and slowly work our way into, like, specializing the room so that our our dupes actually have a happy life going for them. We don't want people dying now, do we? We also probably want this microbe musher eventually. You know what? Cancel that, actually. We'll, we'll build a proper kitchen somewhere. Maybe in here. Once we uh, get it going. One, two... Yeah, okay, good. I didn't go too far. So, I mean, overall, I kind of like what we've got here. It's very, very rough right now, but it resembles something that is good, I think. So, that's a plus. Okay, so, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we completed our research. That was fast and pretty easy, actually. So, we got our water, which means we can actually pump water around places, which is good, because now we don't have to pump stuff ourself. And let's see here. I think we'll go with interior decor first. Because that, that it just feels right, you know? At least to me. I could be wrong about the rightness of these things, but uh Yeah. That is a cool hat, Doc Brown. A very cool hat indeed. All right, so let's see here. We were, where was that water stuff? It was in, yes, so we need pitcher pump. What is that for? Manually pumps liquid into bottles for transport. 
And we've also got a bottle emptier. Duplicants can only carry bottle liquids. Okay. I mean, I have to assume I don't strictly need this because our dupes will probably be smart enough to actually drop water in or like empty the bottle themselves into our water pitcher here. So. Thing under it. Tooltip kind of makes it harder to see. Do I have to like stick this so that it goes into the water? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume that's what it's supposed to do, which means I might not actually... Would I actually even need this anymore? I'm gonna assume the answer to that question is yes, by the way. Alright, so it's kind of like a well. Alright, that it makes sense. It's easy for me to understand. My primitive plebeian brain can... can wrap my head around it. That's good. Alright, what is this? Pitcher pump. Empty. Because it has no access to water. That, uh, that how I should assume that. Hmm. No, but then again, does that make sense? Hmm. It's an empty pump, but it's empty because it doesn't have access to water. But does that mean I need to actually put it in the water? Or does that mean I need to get rid of this and blop that down there? Or is it a simple matter of running a liquid pipe up to it? That does not appear to be the case. Okay, so... Hmm. Let me read this. I'm, I'm clearly not understanding something here. Alright, let's see here. Manually pumps liquid into bottles for transport. So if I look at this... Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? Like, it has to actually be in the water. That's where our problem has arisen here. So if I... If I deconstruct this, and I, wa I want to get this working before the end of the episode, just so that I can actually, like, see what I'm looking at here. Hang on a second, if I cancel it... Okay, so if I cancel it, then the water, like, the pump actually works. Still gonna deconstruct it, though. Then we'll put the pump down here like it should be. Alright, so I, I look at this. I mean, now that I understand it, that's good. Sometimes it takes me a while. Alright. And this thing right here, I, it does not have anything that I can just, like, automatically pump water into it. So I have to assume, if we go into the research tree here, and if we look around, like, yeah, it's sanitation. We have a laboratory, a mesh tile, a shower, and a sink. Okay, so the sink would be better, and we'd be able to directly pump water into the sink. Gotcha. All right, I think my brain is very slowly piecing things together here and understanding how to do stuff. All right, so that's that's where we will that's where we'll come back next time, I guess. But for now, that is it for this episode. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.